you know, for, foremost, we've already seen significant food price inflation as we're all experiencing when we do our grocery buying that between January 2020 and July 2021, according to the World Bank, food price inflation is about 40%. And it hasn't stopped in July. In August, we have seen further increases in food price inflation with uh, corn prices uh, going up 16% and wheat prices going up 12% and so on and so forth. And this disproportionately affects the poor people uh, because their uh, consumption expenditure, the food consumption out of the total consumption expenditure is very high. And as a result of food price inflation, they're impacted. And because of COVID, their incomes in anyway declined. So according to the World Bank, about 99 million people have been added to the below $1.90 poverty line definition just between 2019 and 2020. So you've already got impaired incomes, loss of jobs, and then you've got high food price inflation. And for consumers who've got large percentage of the consumption basket spent on food, they are in a real crisis. And that is why the World Food Program has said that between 19 and 20, the number of people who are acutely hungry, which means level C stage of food insecurity, that means they cannot survive without external food assistance, has doubled from 2019, 135 million to 2020, 270 million. So that is the first direct uh, challenge. 